So in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you the new Fuchsia palette with Michelle Fox and you can get this in Alker Pharmacies. So I'm using my beautiful little cousin Yasmin as a model so thank you so much for modeling for me. Um, so we're going to jump straight into the tutorial. I'm going to use the NYX Tame and Frame Brow Gel in the shade Espresso and I'm starting by putting this quite harshly at the baseline of the brow to create a beautiful shape and then I'm using my spoolie to soften that product and brush it up into the hairs of the brow. This is going to create a much more soft fluffy effect to the brow by um, walking your spoolie through the product. So I'm doing the exact same thing now on the other brow and just creating that shape and then brushing the product up with my spoolie to soften it out. I always like to go above the brow as well to create a nice high arch and a nice shape to the brow and then brush in the product again until you're really happy with it. So I kind of tend to go back in with the gel um, little by little and then brushing it out until I'm happy. Going in with the P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade Rumor. Sometimes when I'm doing a more dramatic look I like to go in with like a lighter shade. This would be my most popular um, shade in my kit, the O2. Um, but if you're doing, doing a more natural look, you don't need to go as bright, I feel. So um, this would be more of a dramatic look for today. So I'm going in with the shade 02. And I'm just applying that all over the lid. I'm bringing it out a little bit because I'm going to blow out this um, eye to make it really smoky. Going in with the Michelle Fox palette now. Isn't it beautiful? Um, and I'm going in with the shade Mahogs. And this is literally just a beautiful mahogany shade. This is going to be like the star <laughs> of the look. Um, because this is going to be the shade that you see the most. Um, so I'm kind of working. I wanted to use this shade. So I'm kind of using this as the base of the eyeshadow look. And then using all the other eyeshadows just to kind of complement this. So I'm bringing it right into the crease. It looks messy now. But when we cut the crease it'll look beautiful. So right into the crease and on the outer corner. And then I'm taking Warm It Up and Salted Caramel on a BB22 brush from Buff and Blend. I love this little brush for like blending out but keeping it nice and detailed. Um, so I'm using that and I'm just buffing that right up into the brow bone. I love a really blown out effect. And then I'm going in with a clean fluffy brush and just making sure the edges are really nice and soft. So now I'm going in with Inglot 94 Gel Liner and this is just a beautiful shimmery champagne shade and I'm using this as an eyeshadow base for the next shimmer that we're going to apply. I always use a, a cream gel liner as an eyeshadow base for shimmers and loose pigments. I just find they make like your eyeshadow just stand out so much more and last so much longer. And I actually love how they blend in with the eyeshadow as well. I think they're just beautiful. Um, so I'm using that and I'm kind of carving the crease. And then I'm blending it in with the outer eyeshadow colour. So going back in with the brush that we use for Mahogs with no extra product. And I'm just patting over just to give it a really nice ombre effect. And then I'm going in with the face highlight from this palette. And it's called Milo. And again, it's just a beautiful champagne colour. And I'm pressing it all over the Inglot gel liner. And then I just took the shade Brown Sugar and this is just going to create a beautiful transition from the Champagne shade to the Mahog shade just to give it more of an ombre effect and it's just a beautiful rich brown. Then I just coat the lashes with some mascara, pop on some falsies. These are from AliExpress. They're just super cheap and they're absolutely beautiful. They're one of the best lashes I actually just love them and they're so so cheap and then just help the client open because the struggle is real <laughs> and then going in with some black gel liner this is Inglot 77 gel liner and we're literally just disguising the lash band so there is nothing fancy going on and then I felt like I needed a little bit more definition on the eyes so I went in with a little bit of that smoky shade and now I'm just going to apply some MAC Strobe Cream to Yasmin's skin. She is more like dry to normal skin type. So I just wanted to make sure our skin was nice and hydrated. If you're a little bit oily, just avoid this in maybe your T-zone or wherever you feel like you get oily. But I just applied it all over her skin and really buffed it in here to give a nice hydrating skin base. I just love this um, as a skin prep. Then going in with some Flormar Double Radiance Primer. I am obsessed with this. I've been using it since like I first 
bought it like three years ago or something and I just absolutely love it it just gives a beautiful glow to the skin and I just find it's great for like if clients are very tan but they haven't tanned like their neck and their face this just gives your foundation a lovely base to sit on top of and you can really see the glow it's after given to Yasmin's skin and the foundation is just going to sit so beautifully on top of this. So I'm going in with MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NC15 and I'm just buffing that in with a flat topped kabuki brush. This is a Jess Up brush um, and this is what my clients get when they do my courses. This brush and a lot more as well. But I just absolutely love this foundation brush. It just buffs it beautifully into the skin. It gives it a lovely amount of coverage. So you actually don't need as much foundation when you use like a flat topped um, brush. So I'm patting that into the skin and just buffing it as well. I always just bring it down the neck because I always match the foundation to the chest rather than the neck. So I just want to make sure everything blends nicely. Going in with the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. And I'm just starting that on the inner corner of the eyes because that's where I find people do have the most kind of discoloration or darkness. Bring it down the cupid's bow and in the center of the chin as well. I'm using the Real Techniques setting brush just to buff this into the skin so I start like by going in a inwards to outwards kind of motions while patting and I find this is the best way to stop your concealer from creasing and just melting it into the foundation going in with my new obsession this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wand in the shade Pinkasm and I'm just using my finger, my index finger, just to really buff this into the skin. And this just gives the most beautiful glow. Usually I use like um, lipsticks as cream blush, but I've fallen in love with this and I just think it's beautiful. I'm going in with the Kiko um, Cream Nourish and Perfection Foundation. It's a mouthful, but it's absolutely beautiful. I don't use this as a foundation. I use it as a cream bronzer. So this is the shade N130. And then N160 as well, I use a lot in my kit. These are my two most popular shades. And I just love this um, foundation as a cream bronzer because it just melts into the skin so easily and it just looks so flawless. So I always go back in with my foundation brush and I kind of switch between the Madison little buffer brush, which I'm using here, and then my foundation brush with no extra product. But whatever foundation brush I use to apply the foundation, I'll use it just to help blend everything together. And this just stops the contour looking like it's sitting on the skin. It just kind of blends in with the foundation and gives beautiful finish. And then once I'm happy with the way the foundation is blended into the skin, I'm gonna use um, a little tiny Madison brush. This is the absolute best brush ever for contouring the nose and the lips. It's just like an angled buffer brush and I absolutely am obsessed with it. And um, I just use that just down the sides of the nose and it just blends your nose contour so easily. I go in with a little bit of the um, setting brush as well just to make sure that there's no harsh lines I don't use any extra concealer and it's just whatever's left on the concealer brush I just use to buff it in and I just love the way it looks I love this Madison um, brush it's so good and then just to set all of those cream products into place, I'm going to go in with some powder. So I'm going to go in with the bronzer from the eyeshadow palette that we were using. And this is just a beautiful powder. It's not too dark and it's not too light. It's actually surprisingly a little bit darker than what it looks like in the pan. But it's still really buildable, which is lovely. It's not too scary or too intense, but it still gives a beautiful finish and you get a lovely payoff with it. So I always go in and press um, powders over um, cream products because you don't want to move any of the creams that we put down. And then I'm going in with the blush from the palette and this is called um, Just Peachy and it's actually so pigmented it's beautiful um, and it's actually a matte blush which lately I've just been using a lot of shimmery kind of blushes and I forgot how much I loved a matte blush. And matte blushes are beautiful for anybody with large pores or a little bit of texture on the cheeks. It won't emphasize anything like that where a shimmery blush will. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. But yeah, I actually just think this blush is absolutely beautiful and it complements the bronzer so well. 
going to set the under eyes now so these powders i'm just obsessed with it's the fit me powder from maybelline they're the matte and porous so they actually make the skin just look absolutely flawless so i'm just applying that where we kind of applied the concealer so under the eyes and then in the t-zone area just to keep everything nice and fresh and long lasting on the skin and this will also help when we go in with our eyeshadow too for fallout Going in with the shade Milo, this is the highlight shade that we actually use on the eyes and it is intense, you can see it there, it's just so beautiful, the camera doesn't lie, it is beautiful and intense um, and it's really nice and it's not shimmery or glittery, it's just beautiful and sheeny on the skin, it makes the skin look wet. Um, and it's just a beautiful shade. I feel like it's going to suit a lot of people because it's not too light and it's not too dark. It's just a perfect champagne. So I apply this to the high points of the cheeks. And because Yasmin is a little bit more on the dry side, um, I don't mind applying it into the center, into her T-zone. If you are oily, just avoid your T-zone. Because I always say you kind of get like a, na a nice natural oily finish here as the day goes on. But if you're a little bit drier, this is beautiful and it just adds such a nice glow to the skin. I'm obsessed with that highlight. It's beautiful. Going in with some NYX Brow Gel now. Again, I'm using a disposable mascara wand. Any kind of cream or liquid products, you never want to double dip. So I'm literally just running that. Um, through our brows and just creating more of a fluffy brow and this makes the brows look so much more natural too going in with something that i'm so sad to talk about because it's my absolute favorite eye pencil ever they're the zoeva graphic liners but someone like loads of people actually told me that they're completely discontinued now and i can't find them anywhere they're sold out everywhere so I'm starting to believe it's true and I actually think I'm gonna have to quit my job as a mua because I don't know how I'm gonna do people's um, makeup without this this is my last one so yeah pray for me and my clients because I don't know what I'm gonna do going in with all the same shades all of the same matte shades then so I'm going in with my hogs and I'm just bringing that underneath then going in with warm up and salted caramel and going underneath the mahog shade and just buffing out and making sure that it's meeting that outer corner too then going in with a clean fluffy brush and just making sure that the um, shades are just nicely blended into the skin and nice and smoked out but not too harsh. Going in with this highlighting shade then from the palette as well. This is just a beautiful light shimmer. I was trying to use as many shades from the palette as I could just to show you how good the palette is. And I'm just using that to highlight the inner corner. Going in with another disposable mascara wand and some mascara and just coating the bottom lashes. And now I'm going in with some lip liner. This is the Toast Pencil from Penny's. And oh my god, these are 150 and I actually can't stress to you enough how good they are. Anytime I go in, it's very hard to find like the nudes. I find they sell out really quick. So anytime I go into Penny's, they're only 150 and I pick up every nude that they have. So if you can't find a nude pencil, it's probably because of me. <laughs> because I love them so much. Then going in with some Honey Love Lipstick from MAC. I like to use this on like a small synthetic buffer brush as well. It's teeny tiny but it just helps buff the lighter kind of nude lipstick into like a darker lip liner. Going back in with a little bit more of the lip liner just to make sure that the gradient is nice on it. And then going in with an ABH lip gloss called Gilded. I'm just applying that all over the lips too. And it's just a beautiful bronzy shimmery shade. And that is the finished look. So I hope that you've really enjoyed this style of client video. And let me know if you pick up the palette. And if you have any questions whatsoever, you can message me or comment below underneath this video. And yeah, I hope that you really enjoyed it. And I will talk to you in my next tutorial. Bye!